Hi everyone, this is Dr. Victoria Skirba speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And uh, I want to speak to you today about Mitch McConnell. Um, I did a reading on the Republicans yesterday and I said I would uh, like to look at McConnell's chances of winning his seat back in 2020 and I actually never got to it. So today uh, I'm going to get to it and see what the cards have to say. Uh, of course, Mitch McConnell is, um, I don't know if we want to call him the mastermind <laughs> of the Republican agenda. I'm not sure he's the mastermind, but he's certainly the, um, oh, what is that? The leg breaker. <laughs> the hit man. He's a hit man. Um, and as far as I can tell, he has no pride. Um, he has no, um, it, it, it's, he's kind of, um, almost robotic. I wonder if anyone's checked to see if he's an android. Okay. Almost done shuffling. So he is a senator from Kentucky. And it was just found out that his wife, who's also in the administration, um, did something underhanded when it came to grants so that the people in his state would get the grants uh, faster or first. Of course, uh, she she could be, you know, held responsible and impeached for that offense, but of course, considering he's in charge of uh, who gets impeached and who doesn't, because he's the head of the Senate, uh, that's probably not going to happen. You know, I never realized that that Asian woman was his wife. Um, just didn't know it. And, and I would always see her in all the pictures. And it would always strike me, like, I wonder what's going on in her mind. Like, what she must think about all this misogynistic stuff. And, you know, putting children in cages. And, and she would always stand there looking, you know. She was all for it. Or certainly had nothing to say against it. Now that I realize that she's Mr. McConnell's uh, wife, um, yeah. surprises me. I should know her name. I don't. I apologize. Uh, fool jumped out. Fool jumped out. I actually did do a reading on him, uh, I think yesterday, but it just I wasn't feeling it, and the fool was one of the cards that came up for him. So, um, What kind of fool am I? I'll tell you what kind of fool you are. He's a damn fool, but a damn smart one. I mean, I don't think he's doing anything good for anybody but, you know, his buds. All right, let's see. Mitch McConnell, immediate environment. Okay, we have the Empress card. Now, this could be his wife, the situation with his wife. The Empress card is generally not a negative card. So let's see um, Let's see what crosses this. It'll give us a better idea of what what's going on okay so we have the seven of wands so I think this could be his wife um, excuse me this could be his wife and the situation she finds herself in because the seven of wands is fighting off sort of the advancers but you have the higher ground and see so this person is up at, at, at a higher uh, a higher level so he can see them coming <laughs> Um, so that's what that seems like. Let's see what's at the root of this Mitch McConnell thing. Okay, we have the victory card. And, of course, that's the question that I'm asking in this reading. So that could be uh, sort of indicating that as well. Sometimes the question you're asking about comes uh, in that lower, in the, in the root of the reading. Let's see what's in the past. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, but it's ill-disposed. Okay, so... Um, I generally don't read um, cards ill-disposed, but this could be uh, some sort of financial, uh, something that was going to start, some financial thing that was going to start that actually did not start, sort of was aborted before it became something. Let's see what's in the sky. Okay, we have the hanged man. And so this is the, um, the vibration of the year of 2019. Um, this vibration is about um, well, there's a certain amount of limbo with this. There's only a certain amount you can accomplish. You can feel kind of hung out to dry, and perhaps he feels that way. Good. 
Um, but this is also a card where you you do what you can where you have influence and the rest just sort of let go. And I think that's what he does. I think that's why he can, you know, look himself in the mirror because he's like, well, I can't do anything about that. I'm going to do something about this. Um, but it's not really a good card. And it doesn't bode well for um, 2020 for him. But let's continue. The immediate future. Okay, we have the world upside down. Um, yeah, the world is usually the end and a new beginning. The fact that it's upside down, again, there's the sense of something being aborted. I wonder, oh my God, I wonder if this is the whole abortion issue. I wonder if this is really going to hurt him. I don't know if his state is one of the states looking to ban abortion or not. I need to look into that. I know Missouri is and Alabama and um, maybe Mississippi. Yeah. Okay, so that could loom large. The abortion issue could loom large uh, for his constituency. Um, how this is seen from the outside, we have the Princess of Cups. You know, it, every time I do something on Mitch McConnell, there's some weird, like, girl thing, or there's always something, and... and Something that happens in the Navy with him, I think he was in the Navy, something in the armed services that was sort of expunged from his record. So I don't know. There's something weird going on there. So um, yeah, and of course, this is also a card of of women, young women. So it's I don't know why it's there, how how this how other people see it. Unless that's going to come out somehow. Let's see his domestic situation. Okay, so domestically he's happy. He's got his wife who's doing all that, that grant writing, I guess. Uh, hopes and fears. Okay, we have the four of wands. This is, um, this is a celebration. So I guess he's hoping for a celebration. I would imagine he's fearing that. It's kind of a benign card for that place, considering the person we're dealing with. Okay, the outcome, we have the Four of Pentacles, and it's ill-disposed, so I'll put it this way so you can see what the card actually is. Um, so this is greed and holding on to your money and such. So it seems, it's interesting because all of the Pentacle cards that came up in this reading were upside down, which makes me feel like he might be having some difficulty getting the resources that he needs to run, which sounds ridiculous because he's in such a place of power, I can't imagine. But, you know, I'm certainly no expert on, you know, finance, um, election finance, right? Okay, let's see if we can pull a major arcana. We have the Nine of Swords, so he is worried, he is concerned. We have the Three of Swords, so a heartbreak, so that doesn't bode well. And we have the Princess of Swords, so that's another young girl here. Or this could be a young man as well. Okay, let's see what's underneath. Okay, we have the Prince of Swords, and he's ill-disposed. He's upside down. This card is generally somebody who does something before they think it through. They sort of rush in to something. But it was upside down. Again, I feel like this is some sort of youth, youthful energy. There's nothing really youthful around him, uh, per se. Um, he's sort of the old boys club, um, you know, politics, the old way, the old fashioned way, obstruction, <laughs> or the old fashioned uh, Republican way, right? Re say no to everything. Ugh. It's just so frustrating. So, I can't say for sure yes or no like it is not a definite yes there's not a definite no but i will say it doesn't look good 
That's what I feel is coming from these cards. It doesn't look good for Mitch McConnell. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it at that because these things can change. Um, you know, the energy, it's you're reading energy. And of course, you're reading it through my filter. I don't know everything. I have my own biases. Uh, so I can only give my best guess, which is what I'm doing here. But there definitely seems to be a lack of flow of, of money and finances. And his wife's issue uh, is definitely uh, front and center. And then there's all these other, it seems like, issues around women or young people. So I'm going to leave it at that. I guess we'll find out if something does come up. Every time I do his, his reading, it's, there's always an indication that there's something sort of hidden under the covers um, that, quite frankly, I think could bring him down if it was to be uncovered, but who knows if it's going to be uncovered. Okay, well, that wasn't too exciting. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if there are readings you would like me to do, questions that you have. I know a few of you have um, asked questions but I forgot to write them down. Um, I, I do a lot of videos and, you know, sometimes um, I say, oh yeah, I got your reading on that. And then, of course, my life takes me in another direction and I forget. So if you asked me before and I haven't done it and you want to ask me again, ask me again this time, I'll write it down. <laughs> okay, like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.